Hi everyone, it's Jake Templeton here, Paralympic swimmer. This week's version of my seven minute home workout will be 10 rounds of 30 seconds on and 10 seconds off. And the, the theme of today is to use a medicine ball. You can also use a sandbag or a bag of ice, a little bit different to last week's workout, which was with no equipment. And today's first exercise is going to be a medicine ball throwdown. So you can do it with any piece of equipment that you have at home, similar to this medicine ball. And with this exercise, you wanna reach up tall and grab over the top of the ball and finish through the rep. You wanna, don't wanna fall short, you wanna swing right through to your hips. So taking this 10 seconds rest now, we're gonna be going into a lunge. So you can do a side lunge, you can do a rear lunge. I've chosen just to hold my ball at the chest and do a forward lunge. So with this one, it's important to try and keep the body upright and keep that knee tracking over the toes, but you don't want the knee to go too far over the toes. Um, excuse the lighting there for me as well. It was a nice time of the day, it was quite bright. Um, but as I said, you can do a sideward lunge or you can do a rear lunge or a mixture of all of them for this exercise. So following our next set of 10 seconds rest, we'll move on to our next upper body exercise, the overhead shoulder press. So bracing core, glutes on, starting at about shoulder height. Pretty simple this one. Whatever piece of equipment you've got, just uh, pushing it overhead until you're locking out at the top there. So next exercise is going to be the Russian twist. So seated on the ground, you can cross your legs over like I will, or you can keep them on the ground just for a little bit more stability. Um, you just wanna rotate from side to side. So lean back like you're rowing and, and just rotate from side to side. So you don't wanna let your legs move too much. Mine probably are there a little bit because the ball is 12 kilos, it's quite heavy. Um, if your legs are swinging too much, just put them on the ground. Um, so with this whole workout, you can do it two or three times. If you do it three times, it will accumulate to about 20 minutes, which will be quite a tough workout. I've just gone through once here. So standing up now, exercise number five will be a stiff legged deadlift. You can bend your knees if you wish or if you have uh, lower back problems. Um, and you don't need to go as far down as what I'm going there. You just need to go until your back's in a horizontal position. Um, just uh, lowering the ball to the ground. Um, and maybe that's why I'm going a little bit too deep there, just so the ball touches the ground, but it doesn't have to. Um, and just using those extensor muscles um, in your back and legs to uh, lift yourself up there. So after another 10 seconds rest, we're gonna be in the same position, um, bent over, but this time we're gonna be doing a row. So using the shoulder muscles, um, retract those shoulder blades and just pull the ball or whatever you've got to your chest. Um, so this one will be pretty tough um, if you've got something heavy, um, but ju just try and keep the lower body as still as you can, keep the core still, um, keep your uh, gaze in a neutral position, um, and 30 seconds again for this one. Moving on to number seven now, it's going to be our second core exercise. So back flat on the ground. Um, try not to let the rib cage rise um, as you particularly lower the legs down. Um, you can use, um, if you're using something lighter, you can try and lift the ball off the ground as well and hover that ball above the ground for a little bit more of a challenge. But for me, it's a little bit hard with the 12 kilo ball. So just lowering the legs down as far as you can. You might not get them as low as I have here, um, but until you, until you get a bit of a burn, just lower until that point. Our final upper body exercise is going to be a push up with the medicine ball. So just have one hand on the ground, one hand on top of the ball, and after each rep, we'll rotate sides with the ball. So just try and push it through to the other side. 
If you're using an ice, a bag of ice or a sandbag or whatnot, just do traditional push-ups. Uh, but if you've got something that you can roll to each side between reps, go for it like I have here. So our last lower body exercise is going to be a hip thrust. So just placing the ball or whatever piece of equipment you've got on your hips here. Um, you can use your hands to stabilize like I have. And just trying to raise the hips up using the glutes, squeezing them together and driving through the feet. Um, just to try and get that straight line between your upper body and your knees at the top of the motion there. The so final exercise is going to be a little bit harder than it looks, um, it was for me anyway, so it's going to be a plank with both hands on the ball. Um, maybe it was because the ball isn't so big. Um, if you've got something which would provide a little bit more of a challenge, you don't have to use it, like a sandbag or an ice uh, bag, that probably wouldn't be very practical, so just do a traditional plank on um, elbows and toes. Um, but with all planks, as always, you want to try and keep that straight line uh, between your shoulders, your glutes and your heels. Thanks everyone for watching. Please comment. I'm open for suggestions for equipment for next week's video. Um, but see you then. Thank you.